Hi friends, I'm Paris from GeekScholars.com and this is our seventh video in Django Web Development. In this video, we're going to talk about Django template inheritance. So in the previous video, we have learned that how we can render HTML templates. Now in this video, we want to talk about template inheritance. Now if you see in here, right now I have just one HTML file that's uh, index.html file. Now sometimes maybe you have a big project and you have uh, a lot of HTML files, like uh, for example, you have 10 or 20 HTML files. Now adding uh, the repeated codes in these HTML files are not good. For example, uh, it's a good idea that we can separate our these tags and we can create blocks uh, uh, for our HTML file. Now, if you see the uh, uh, Django documentation for the template inheritance, now it's the most powerful and the most complex part of Django template engine is template inheritance. Template inheritance allows you to build a base skeleton template that contains all the common elements of your site and defines blocks that child, child templates can override. Now you can see in here they have a, an example in here. You can see that this is a complete HTML file. Uh, HTML file. We have uh, all tags in here. Uh, so we have HTML head, link, uh, body. So now it's telling that this template, which we call it base.html, so we can call for this HTML file as a base.html file. Now it defines an HTML skeleton document that you might use for two column page. Its job of child template to fill the empty blocks with content. Now if you see in here we have blocks. Now in this section we have block title. Now we can replace this uh, block title with our own text in our child template. So now in here you can see uh, we have block sidebar uh, and here we have block content and you can change this uh, uh, in the ch uh, child template. So you can see that in this example, the block tag uh, defines three blocks that child template can fill in. All the block tags does uh, is to tell the template engine that a child template may override those portion of the template. And you can see that in here we are extending from base.html and you can see that block title is changed in here and you can see that in the block content we have our content for that HTML file. Now let's just uh, do this. So right now you can see we have just one index.html. So in here I'm going to create another HTML file uh, and I'm going to call it base.html. Now this is the skeleton for my uh, all child templates. And in here I'm going to uh, just uh, change this to a block title. So this is my block title and I'm going to just end the block and in here we have another block uh, so we can create this is my block uh, body. So you need to create the block and after that you need to give uh, the block a name. Uh, you can give whatever you want for example uh, and here you can give block content. Uh, you can give it block body and there is no problem and make sure that at the end you need to just end the block So end the block like this, okay? Now this is our base.html and we want to extend this base.html in our child templates So this is an index.html now in the index.html uh, We don't need all of these codes. So first let me just copy this code because I want to add this in my block body. So let me just cut this and uh, I'm going to remove all of this code. Now the first thing I need, I need to extend this base.html. So I'm going to just say extends base.html. Now I can create my blocks and I can add my own content on those blocks and I can override these blocks. So we can just say so block title and for example it's home and I'm going to just give it home and block title so we are going to uh, create another block so sorry uh, so this is my block body and this is the place that uh, I can add my body code and we can just end the block. Now I can add these uh, 
three items in here so you can see uh, uh, maybe you have more uh, uh, HTML files uh, you can add uh, more HTML files and you can just extend base.html you can add your blocks and you can just change or override the content of that block now if I check this you can see uh, so first let me just run my project And now if I go to localhost port 80 and we have a block tag with name title appears more than once we have an error and it is because I think end block yeah no, this is the place in here we need to end the block so sorry for that End the block and now if I refresh this you can see that we are receiving the same result and you can see the title it's the title is home now if I change this to for example uh, pool home if I refresh this you can see that the title is changed so like this you can work with template inheritance in uh, Django if you have any question please let me know and also for the further information you can just check my website geekscholars.com